Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Head Coach Ross of the Attacks Gym, Street Warrior in Gia Uhuru Kipura. As those of you know who follow me, uh, in Gia Uhuru is a Swahili term. It means the way of freedom. Kipura is the Kikongo term that was mispronounced as Capoeira by Rafael Bluto in 1712 and was first recorded as Capoeira in Rafael Bluto's dictionary in 1712. So, yes, we know exactly where the term Capoeira comes from. Don't believe the lies to the contrary. Okay, and you can Google that too, all right? So what's this video about? Well, I'm gonna break this down in a couple of segments. The first is dealing with the tremendous negativity of cardio capoeira. I'm always asked, hey, you know what? Why are you always jumping on, on, on uh, cardio capoeira's turn, a uh, case? And what is car cardio capoeira? Cardio capoeira is the use, is, is the primary expression of the, of, the, of the art of my ancestors, which has been diluted and bastardized into uh, capoeira in Brazil. It is used primarily for exercise, dance, and stuff like that. It has nothing to do with self-defense, and it, and it downgrades its African roots, its African applications, et cetera, so on and so forth. Okay, there's all kinds of incredibly uh, significant negatives that come from such uh, horribleness all right, that cardio capoeira is about, all right, uh, and yet, but let's let's hit a few right about now and i'm gonna hit focus on one in, on one element in particular the lack of its self-defense practices and skills uh has all kind of negative impacts but the first and most significant and deliberately designed result was that it's tremendously ineffective in all areas of self-defense which means that those of us who are seeking to actually learn the real skills of our ancestors which you will find in my Njia Uhuru Kipura and never ever 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 in any form of, of, of so-called capoeira because the moment you say capoeira the split second you say that you're talking about something that's dysfunctional and it's not the real art all right <laughs> excuse me that's just the, that's the uh yeah that's that, that's the old trash can man coming by, you know, getting his work in. Okay, now, back to what I was saying. The primary negative impact it has, especially upon the African uh, communities worldwide, is that it repulses us with its dooficity. We look at it and see that it's incredibly dysfunctional, and so we want to make certain that we have nothing to do with it. This is, and then we take our skills, our energies, our money, our time and our talent, uh, our genius, and we go make other pursuits. All right, that has tremendously negative impacts upon us. First and foremost, it, it means that we are hoodwinked into, into uh, continuing the helping the enemy, the slaver, the rich, the corrupt people who are screwing everything everywhere. As, you know, they're usually, they're usually corporate owners, they're usually rich, white, male, racists, and they don't care about anyone that's, and they, uh, who aren't them, and they hate us the most because we're black. Uh, we're helping them with their plan to, to ensure the death and destruction of our art by, by uh, never ever um, um, replenishing the art with new blood and growing student roles. The reason why that doesn't happen is because we take one look at it and we can see that stuff doesn't work. It's useless for self-defense. And, and, it, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it offends our very soul. Our African soul knows that that's not what, what, our, what our ancestors did. So we seek, else, seek our, our self-defense fortunes elsewhere with the result being that wherever else we go, boxing, taekwondo, kempo, wrestling, judo, it doesn't matter. Wherever else we go, uh, we take our African genius and the kipura, which has been embedded within our communities, and we elevate that that art to the current levels that it currently is. Kickboxing was kickboxing was not kickboxing until we got into it. Muay Thai was not Muay Thai until we got into it. You can you can say X wasn't X and it wasn't what it was until we got into it. We elevated, we innovated it, we enhanced it in every possible way, and we did that by taking our kipura, which was fused within our African culture, within every aspect of our African culture, our language, our, our clothing, our our means of communication, the way we move, the way we dance, the way we sing, why we move, why we dance, why we sing, how we learn to 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 interpret and apply particular movements. In this case, we're talking about self-defense. 
the in boxing, our kipoda is what allowed us to apply the brilliant you know, defensive movements, the aesthetic skills, the ring generalship, the timing, the speed, the combinations, the psychological manipulation. And in fact, you can go ahead and look at a professor, uh, TJ Dash, Dash Obi, uh, his, his TJ uh, Dash O, excuse me, t Professor TJ uh, uh, Dash Obi, and his uh, his his work on uh, the Black Terror, Bill Richmond, and that will prove that beyond any question or any doubt, all right, period. Uh, we take that and we did it with kickboxing, taekwondo, and everything else. Well, all imagine this. Imagine all those NBA, NBA, NFL, baseball, and combat skill athletes um, for all those millennia concentrated in Kipura with this incredible movement arsenal and focused on self-defense skills, first and foremost. The healing, the, the, the fun, the music, the, uh, the, 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 the sensuality, the sexuality, the, the style, the philosophy, everything else, uh, the spirituality is secondary because you have to get the self-defense skills first in order to be alive enough and well enough and free enough and have enough dignity and freedom from the, from the requirements of day-to-day -day living, the grind of day-to-day -day living. You have that taken care of so that now you can, uh, uh, you can, now you can apply your energies in these other ways. That's what Cardio Capoeira misses in its entirety. It does that on purpose. There is no way that you can practice this so-called art that doesn't practice self-defense as its primary purpose and, and that presents Brazil, not Africa, as its primary uh, a source, does not use any of the African language at all, speaks Portuguese, which is the language of the slaver, one of the slavers, including the English that I'm speaking to. Now that's the language of the slaver, all right? There's no way that you can present the art with in that medium and not be advancing the 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 the, the program, the agenda of the slavery slaver. It's impossible. That's the reason why I disagree with it the most. It's one of its gigantic reasons because it's dishonest, it's dysfunctional. It 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 it. it, it it ingrains within our community the brain drain and the skill drain, the talent drain uh, that 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 perpetuates the movement away from African skills, all right, and 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 helps to exterminate the the African skill sets, you know, while at the same time sending us us our skills, our 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 abilities, our our knowledge, and hundreds of billions of our dollars into other communities who don't like us, other systems that don't like ours, and then teaches us to revere those other systems, you know, from other countries and other languages at the expense of our own. That's why I dislike this. And, and, why, and let me add another postscript. Does this mean I, I dislike other communities and other languages in other countries? Hell no. There's no way that I can be proud of being African and dislike anybody else on the strength of them being different because Africans are the ones who gave birth to everybody else. I can't love me and hate you at the same time. Now, I may not like some of the things that say, like, you know, certain people, like Nazis. I can't stand what they do. But do I, do I hate all white people? No, I just don't like Nazis. You feel what I mean? Okay, that's the approach we utilize here. This is why, first and foremost, it is the it is the responsibility. It is absolutely the essential responsibility of we in the African community who are self defense experts, especially, to to rehabilitate our art, to 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 throw out all the garbage that the cardio capoeira heads have created. All right, Ex get the real history and explain what's really happened, why it's there in the first place, which will be in the next video, not this one. All right, and to apply it in functional ways, which is what I do. I'm the only one who does that. All right, that's why I need you to hit the subscription button here. All right, we need your we need your support. Over a million of you, uh, I get over a million visitors every month, and over 99% of you are unsubscribed. Why? We need you to subscribe. We need that support. Go to my website, googlesites.com, a tax street for your capoeira. We got the ebooks there, which really delve into this even more on a, on a on a uh, in a case by case, area by area basis. We focus on each element of what cardio capoeira screws up and what you need, what we need to do to rectify that. And then we get into the real history and the real skills and everything else like that. Okay. 
and uh, I need you to like this video and leave some comments here and, sp and and share it on your Facebook or other social media too, okay? Any questions or comments, like I said, leave it at the end of this video. It's your boy, Head Coach Watson, the Tax Gym Street Warrior in Gia Uhuru Kipura. You take care of yourself, all right? It's kind of it's kind of crazy out here, all right? Asante sana, amani, ashe.